Planet Dolan. Will bra maker designed the spacesuits for the moon landing. Well, country wouldn't let its military wear socks till 2007. Here are 15 crazy facts you didn't know about your clothes. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. French engineer Louis Riard named his creation after Bikini Atoll, where the United States did a large portion of its testing on the atomic bomb. The reason for that was literally a pun. He wanted it to be an equally big explosion in the fashion industry. Incidentally, the bikini was banned in Belgium, Italy, Spain and Australia shortly after its invention. And the Vatican labelled it a sin. Number 14. Samuel Clemens, better known by his pen name Mark Twain, is credited with the invention of an adjustable elastic strap to hold up loose fitting clothing. It's filed as improvement in adjustable and detachable straps for garments. Originally, he intended for it to be used in a variety of clothing types, including vests and pantaloons. But take one look at this pattern, and it's hard to see anything but a bra strap here. Number 13. South Korea, now famous for scantily clad girl groups, once had a skirt measuring fashion police. In the 1970s, their job was to go around and literally measure the skirts of girls walking around on the street to make sure they were long enough. If their skirts were too short, women could be fined or jailed. Number 12. Before 1840, getting married in a white wedding dress would have been unspeakable. Britain's Queen Victoria was the first to associate the colour white with weddings. When she married her cousin in a dress she designed herself. Before that, white clothing was for mourning. It was something you'd wear at a funeral, not a wedding. Number 11. Jean was actually the name given to a type of cotton corduroy cloth worn in the 1800s. They were named for Genoa, Italy, the city that the cloth originates from. Eventually, a Russian immigrant named Jacob W. Davis figured out that Jean cloth could be used to make really strong pants the idea to a German immigrant named Levi Strauss. And now we have jeans. Number 10. A type of platform shoe called Chopines date back to Venice as early as the 1400s. They were a popular choice for courtesans to protect their shoes and dresses from dirt and mud. Number 9. Spanx was sort of like the modern version of a girdle in that it squeezes you into shape that fits your clothes a little better. And Julie Newmar, the original actress for Catwoman in the 1960s Batman series, is listed as the patent holder for one of the first forms of pantyhose to accentuate curves. The patent name is Pantyhose with Shaping Band for Cheeky Derriere Relief. We may never know if the pun was intended. Number 8. At most jobs, bringing your own clean underwear from home is a given, but at Disney World, Mickey Mouse and the gang had to work from a shared pool of community undergarments. It wasn't until 2001, after two months of negotiation with the Teamsters Union, that mascot workers earned the right to be assigned individual underwear sets that they could take home and wash themselves. Some of the workers complained about the underwear being stained and smelly. Also, there was apparently an outbreak of pubic lice and scabies. Number 7. The iconic space suits that helped Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin safely set foot on the moon were developed by Playtex. The 21 layer suits were hand sewn and developed by seamstresses who were used to making girdles, bras and panties. There were two other companies, both major defense contractors, who submitted designs for consideration. One suit was too big to fit into the space capsule, the other had a helmet that exploded during trials, which, you know, isn't ideal. Number 6. High heels were originally invented as military footwear. Persian cavalrymen used the heels to grip their stirrups, giving them a more stable position when they stood to fire their bows. In the late 1500s, heels became a stylish status symbol among European nobility, particularly those who were sensitive about their height. Number 5. The trend of pink being for girls and blue for boys is actually only a couple of generations old. Actually, the reverse was true until the 1940s. Pink was considered the stronger colour, while blue was dainty, and children's clothing was coloured accordingly. Number 4. French clothing company Lacoste was founded in 1933, and quickly became known for its signature crocodile logo. That logo became synonymous with the company and still represents the company today. That croc is now considered the world's first logo for a designer label, with companies like Ralph Lauren, American Eagle, and Tommy Bahama later following suit with animal-based logos of their own. Number 3. 
Socks are, you know, kind of a common clothing item, but not apparently for the Russian military. Until 2007, they would simply wrap cloth around their feet before slipping into their boots. After 2007, they were permitted to use the technological marvel that is the sock. Of course, it wasn't until 2013 that socks were actually made standard issue. Number two. Polo shirts were certainly popularized by polo players who used the button down design to keep their shirts from flying up while they played. But the original design of the shirts was meant for tennis players. It was French tennis pro René Lacoste who designed the polo shirt to make it easier for him to play. And yes, that's the same guy as the one we just mentioned with the crocodile. Number one. Have you ever looked at your zipper and seen the letters YKK? You ever wondered why? Well, it stands for Yoshida Kogio Kabushiki Kaisha, or basically Yoshida Company Limited in English. YKK is a famed Japanese company that has complete control over every aspect of its zipper making process. YKK smelts its own brass, spins its own thread, manufactures its own machines, even makes its own boxes. Because they handle everything in house, they have unparalleled quality control. It gives them the reputation of the world's most reliable zipper supplier. So guys, what's the craziest thing you know about clothes? Let us know in the comment section down below. Pin up favorite to the top. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!